Well, in just a few hours, the night sky will be exploding with fireworks, and one local company helps to make sure those fireworks shows are a success. News 4's Marley Tuscus and photojournalist Allison Stabell are taking us behind the scenes of Skylighters. Well, no matter where you decide to watch the fireworks tonight, it's most likely that they started right here in western New York. No matter what your favorite kind of firework is. The, you know, gold weeping willows that, you know, droop all the way to the ground or any of the multi, you know, multi effects that will open up and then they'll break again. If you've seen it anywhere in western New York, Skylighters was behind it. When I get that, uh, um, you know, that customer that comes up there and they're talking about this great firework display, I, you know, I let them kind of build up the suspense and let them tell me all about it, and then I'll let them know that we produced it. For decades, the locally owned and operated firework company has been the mastermind behind most of the displays you see, whether it's at the bash thrown by Mercy Flight, downtown Buffalo when the clock strikes 12 each new year, fireworks displays on Independence Day. A lot goes into planning behind the scenes. Starts many, many months ago or even a year in advance. So with, you know, sitting with the customer, finding out what their needs are. Once we design that display, you know, we actually go ahead and we package that display. All these pallets of black pipe is, um, that's, that's our mortar pipe. That's what the fireworks are being launched out of. Skylighters fireworks are imported from Southeast Asia. Every fall, company owner Matthew Shaw says they make the trip to create and test each one before starting mass production. And that's, you know, eight to 10 months lead time to by the time it's actually manufactured to deliver to my facility. The company employs more than 120 people who oversee roughly 350 fireworks shows each year. Over the 4th of July weekend, they put together about 65 shows. As soon as January 1st rolls around, you know, we're in full swing for the holiday, just to be able to, you know, accommodate that much work. It's a lot of work, but Shaw says he wouldn't want it any other way. It's an amazing feeling that, um, you know, we're, you know, we have that local presence and we're able to produce what we do for the community. There's not a lot of firework companies left in the country. There's a lot of regulations and to, you know, to be here and to be able to produce it for our community is a great feeling. So. Reporting. Marley Tuskis, News 4.